Hi guys, come spend the day with me. I know it's midway through the day. I'm just at home. I'm not going out or anything. I just wanted to show you guys what I drew do during the day. So it's about 10.30 I think. So I'm going to make myself a coffee. And I'm just, I was in the process of cleaning my room. So I'll insert some clips there. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing today. Um, showing you guys what I do basically in a day when I'm not like busy or anything and i hope you enjoy um so normally i start off with my morning with a healthy breakfast and a coffee and yogurt if i have any yogurt but i don't always have yogurt after my breakfast but sometimes i like to have yogurt in the morning just because i feel like it's healthy and it's protein and you know <laughs> um but yeah um, so I hope you guys are having a lovely day and I hope you enjoy watching this vlog. Um, so yeah, here are my books. I have a lot of books. Um, that's all there. Here are, is another bookshelf. <laughs> I love my books. Um, I have another book. Here is my other bookshelf with all my little Harry Potter minis. I love Harry Potter so much, but anyway. There's all my supernatural stuff, like vampires, witches, werewolves, and whatnot. And then my Shadow Hunter stuff is down there. So then I make my bed. Well, I was like, I made my bed. And I'm going to straight away I make my bed and make my coffee. So I can go for the and go. recording this it is the first of April and I'm still reading it. What can I say? I've been slack lately. <laughs> um but anyway, um just enjoy me watching enjoy me reading this book. Um but I have seen The Dry and the Force of Nature and those two movies were really good. I've read the books first obviously um but I don't like watching the movies and then reading the books after i prefer reading the books and then watching the movie so because obviously the books have more detail and if the book obviously comes out before a movie then obviously i'm gonna have to read the book first um but yeah um so the drive was a bit slow a bit of a slowish movie but it was good, it was good. But The Force of Nature, I really, really loved that movie. And I definitely recommend you watch it. Um, it's got Eric Benner as Aaron Falk. Um, but yeah, it's really, really good. Uh, I'm so anyway, enjoy me reading this for a little bit. And, one thing, and then I'm going to explain the book is about after in a minute after this so I thought I'd give you guys an update on what this book is about um, if you read this book then you know, you know. <laughs> anyway, um, what am I saying? Um, I love Jane Harper's books so much. I feel like I've said that already so many times. But I've only read 180 pages. And this book is basically about a mum going missing at a festival many years ago when her daughter was a baby. And her baby is now 17 years old and they're still trying to find their mum. Um, but... And Aaron Falk, who is the detective in this in this book, um, and most of the other books as well, um, 
is the detective and he's trying to solve the case and help their family find their mom. Uh, but that's all. That's pretty much what the book is basically about. Um, but yeah, they put posters up around at a festival to help to help um, with that. Um, I hope, yeah. I feel like that's how I would explain what this is about. I'm not very good at explaining what books are about, but I try my best and I try my best and I just, I understand the books, but I'm just not very good at explaining what the books are about. So, but I do try my best to explain them as well as I can. Um, but I, I like it. I like it. I don't like crying or anything like that, but Jane Harper books are just like the best books that I've ever read that are Australian fiction as well. So if you're into Australian fiction, read Jane Harper and you'll love it. <laughs> um, but not everyone will, so yeah. Okay, so afterwards, or oh, during the day, whenever I'm feeling like I'm in the mood, playing a bit of PS4 or Xbox, depending on what game there is as well, I will play the Xbox or PS4. We have both at the moment. So, yeah. Here I am playing Hogwarts Legacy, and I started this a week ago, and I'm like stuck on it. I'm really stuck on it. I've completed all requests and they have mocked unlock and I don't know how to unlock them. Um, but yeah. So, here's me playing Hogwarts Legacy. Honestly, I didn't realise how long my hair was until I looked back at this video and I saw that it was stupidly long. Um, <laughs> but. I really need to get a haircut sometime soon, so yeah, that's what I'll do hopefully this weekend or after my next pay, um, as I'm trying to save money and I just don't want to touch this money that I have right now. The only thing that I've touched on, to be honest with you, is um, my birthday present by dad, um, but yeah. Um, and I also want to move out, so I'm trying to save money to buy a house. Um, it's gonna take a while, but I think I'll get there. I believe I can get there. Um, so yeah. And when you were in there. So yeah, I think that I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna post my book stuff as well. And then I'm gonna do it with Dana. Next pay and do a book haul on TikTok and then read into my mind. Um, which I don't know. But comment below some tips for doing 24 hour reader things because I really want to do one. Because um, I've never done one before and I'm just, I don't know how I should be doing them. Obviously, I'm not going to be staying up all night because that's not for me. I need my sleep. Um, but yeah. Um, I, think I didn't really film an outro for this video. So it's just me showing my watch. Oh. <laughs> what I had, I don't know why. Um, I just hope you're all having a lovely day and I hope you enjoy watching the rest of this video. That's not much to go on. So you can stop here if you want. But I'm going to end it here. Thank you for watching. Bye.